I told my mom I really felt like I was gonna die. So I do want to talk to you about body positivity oh, yeah. and what you have been going through lately. Once again, I'm a close friend. She talks about it on her regular page, actually, yeah. too. Um, you got a BBL, mm -hmm. and um, you absolutely hate it. <laughs> I don't absolutely hate it right now. But so, okay, so basically my surgery journey is... But I, there's been issues with... Yes. Got yes, you. Yes, okay, okay, okay. So I got a BBL, I don't know, maybe like three years ago, and I got botched. Mm -hmm. And my ass looked like a Dorito. My ass was literally shaped like a Dorito. It went viral. I don't know if you guys seen it, but you could probably Google it. It literally looks like this. But so I got botched, tried to get it fixed. Um, it did not work. I had to wait a whole year. I was like so depressed because I looked horrendous. Because you posted recently like, don't get your body done. Yeah, do you believe that or do you, mm. would you, do you regret getting your body done? Do you? I mean, it's tricky for me because it's like, I like having my body done but as much trauma that it has brought me mm -hmm. it really like not nah, it hasn't it wasn't worth, worth it. it yeah no it hasn't been worth it it's just been so much like i then i had to gain 20 pounds to like to even do to it to get another one to try to fix Lord. the dorito booty and then the dorito booty wasn't all the way <laughs> you fixed. gotta stop saying dorito. I was, it is a dorito <laughs> booty <laughs> it was a dorito. i'm just like this I'm is like, is it cool ranch <laughs> Because I love Dorito. Because if it was spicy nacho, I would take a bite out of that bitch. <laughs> no, but even then, just recently, I had like a whole issue. I didn't talk about this publicly yet, but so basically, I had got my revision BBL like a year ago. I was so happy with the, with the results. I felt like it was fixed. I was freed from the shackles of a botched Dorito and whatever. <laughs> but then about a year later, I started feeling like. I don't know if the fat was dying or it just kind of slowly started to go a little bit back to how it was, not all the way, but mm. I just started seeing that Dorito again a little bit. And I was like, ooh, okay. So I went to go get fillers in my butt. Not oh. illegal fillers, legal fillers. Like, not like ass shots in the basement, but like fillers in your butt. Yeah. To help balance it out. Yeah. So like two weeks ago, I was on a freaking plane with Jade, my best friend. Who um, was over there? <laughs> yeah, Making and sure I don't she know. Don't say nothing crazy. She's like, she's like, bitch. Yeah, yeah. tread lightly. <laughs> That's me. That's me. <laughs> like, yeah, tread lightly, bitch. <laughs> but um, I I think I like bumped my butt cheek on something, and it like got hella swollen and red, and I thought that I was like had an infection in my butt cheek. Oh, I called my mom, my crying my eyes out. I'm so sick of this. Like, I can't keep dealing with this. Like, I just mm. want this shit gone. Like, I don't know what to do anymore mm. like I never can like be happy but it's like I'm not doing these things because I'm like oh I want a bigger butt and a smaller way I'm just trying to fix the damn original problem from three years ago wow. so it just keeps adding and keeps going and I'm just and this was two weeks ago yeah this just happened Jesus. and it, it did it yeah it was it, fine it went back but I was like it's scary I though. was googling shit like my, my leg gonna fall mm. off oh my god do I really know what they put in my butt like mm. was this illegal fillers like it was just like a whole thing and it's just it's scary and then also on top of it just getting a bbl in general is so dangerous mm. yeah it is it's so it dangerous is. and then i feel like with my revision i literally felt like i was gonna die on the fifth day i told my mom i really felt like i was gonna die i believe it yeah I, it was well, i went with my sister and i thought she i thought my sister was going to die yeah it was scary i lost hella fucking blood like i had like the craziest headaches i've ever experienced couldn't stand up i was like pitch paper white like it was terrible it was like the worst thing ever. so why do you feel like well two questions one do you feel like it was worth it and b why do you feel like women because i that ain't the first time we've heard that i feel 100%. like every single person that i know who has had a bbl had type of issue. they're like this is the worst pain i've ever experienced never, in my life ever. i've I, i've never Jesus. but then i hear people that experience that and be like, but I would do it again. Yep. Right. Or, well, because you forget about it. Or yeah. why is this so important that we do this? Well, I mean, it's why just is like it a such a trend right it's now? It's such a trend and it's so damn annoying. I mean, look, <clears throat> honestly, I had an okay body before I had surgery. You know, if I could go back in time, I would work out 100%. And I just would. gain it naturally. Yeah, yeah. I would just do what I needed to damn do. Like, you know, but I, I just, I was kind of like first getting money and like, I was like, I want to do something. So then I did my titties because mm -hmm. I was always flat chested. So I was like, let me do my titties. Now like, that I will take a risk for. I, I was ain't scared. Got no titties. Well, I was scared to do my body. And that's the only reason why I got my titties done. Because yeah. I was like, I just want to do something different. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just do my boobs. I'm too scared for a BBL. But then I was like, no, like I still want a BBL. Like in mm -hmm. the titties went Why fine. did you want it though? Do I you mean, feel like obviously 
Seeing social media, it. I seeing to. it. I wanted yeah. to look, I wanted my waist to be snatched and I wanted my butt to be fat. Like, yeah. my, I wanted my waist to be even smaller. Like, I wanted my butt to be a little bit bigger. bigger. Like, but do you yeah. think that that's because, like, you wanted it because of what it does on social media? What we no. see every day okay. in pop I don't culture. care about no damn social media. Honestly, I'm just way too self-centered. I really don't care about what everybody else got going on and I really have never felt the need to, like, compete with other people mm-hmm. or keep up with other people with the flexing shit on Instagram yeah. and all that. But I was like, it would look good. Mm-hmm. I want that. Yeah. But it wasn't, like, yeah. To post or my pictures are gonna do better, right? Or I'm gonna be able to pull more dudes because I mean I wasn't missing no meals. So. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I mean, You're an idiot. I just wanted it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. really feel no pressure, but yeah. But so you, if you have females that are out right now, they're like, I'm thinking about getting a BBL. What I would tell you say? No. I tell people, don't no. do it. I'd be like, don't do it. It's yeah. Not. I mean, unless they're really bad built. 